Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss yet another problem from the latest binary search series I'm working on. The problem name is minimum number of days to make M bookings. Now this is also a medium problem. So let's discuss this problem. This is also an interesting problem uh, according to me. You are given an integer array bloom day an integer m and integer k so you are given three values in the input a bloom day integer array uh, integer m and integer k we need to make m bouquets to make a bouquet you need to use k adjacent flowers from the garden so you have to make m bouquets and whenever you want to make a bouquet you can you will like you will always choose k adjacent flowers okay so now the garden consists of n flowers the ith flower will bloom on the bloom day i Okay, so like, and you can only use one flower exactly for one bucket. You cannot like use single flower for multiple times. Return the minimum number of days you'll need to wait to able to make M bouquets from the garden. If it is not impossible, you will return out minus one. Like, or if it's not impossible to make M bouquets, you'll return out minus one. So, as you can see, or we will make, I will make you understand with this example. If the given constraint is M equal to three, which means that you have to make three bouquets and you have to like find out and you have to make a bouquet such that you have to choose one flower for each bouquet so as you can see the answer is three which means that i will take this after three days this flower will bloom because let's assume that the time will start at t equal to zero after t equal to one this flower will bloom which means that this will flower out you can pluck this out then after time two this will pluck out the time three this will pluck out then at four five six seven eight nine both of these flower will not bloom but as you can see i only want three bouquets and k equal to one which means i want three flowers so i can only take these flowers at time equal to three and the answer is fine so this will also tell us that we should not always just take out the maximum value from this array what i mean by this is you can also say that okay i will take out the maximum value from this array and that's the time when every flower will bloom if all the flowers will bloom at that time, I can take out all the flowers, but that's the thing you will understand that this is a monotonic function. Now, now what, what is a monotonic function? I've already told you in the last couple of videos. A monotonic function is the one in which the value stay constant till a particular value in which the value will give a negative answer or like the answer we don't want till a particular value and after one value, it will start giving the correct answer okay so maybe this is also correct answer this is also correct answer but this is the first point after which it is giving us correct answer so you have to find out this point only so that's the whole question so now as you can also see if i take out or if i'll take out flowers at time equal to like let's assume 20 then at 20 all the flowers will bloom so i will make uh, i can make bouquet but i have to find out the minimum time at which i can pluck out the flowers such that i can make bouquets in which i will choose key consecutive flowers to make m bouquets now that's the question so now can you tell me what is the case for minus one directly without like looking at the given constraints like you will find out whether there is some case minus one after doing some calculations but can you tell me like directly there is one case in which like you can tell that there will be the answer is minus one as you can see, uh, if M, if I want to make, let's assume that I want to make three bouquets and every bouquet has one flower. So I will require three flowers, but let's assume my garden will has only one flower. If my garden has only one flower, then how can I get three flowers? So that's the trick. You have to, like you have to find out these small things in which it will give the boundary cases. So if my total length of this bloom day, the total number of flowers is less than m into k then the answer is already minus one okay else we have to do some calculations so uh, so what we'll do that is simple trick you will take you will find out the boundary for this now the boundary for this is actually c you will not take so the maximum time will you you will take to pluck out is you can either take out the maximum bloom day i value which is 10 to the 9 you can like you can take 10 to the 9 also but as you can see, if you can also take the maximum among all of these elements, that's the right limit also, because you will not take more than 10 hours. Okay. Like you will take 11 hours also fine, but 10 is the maximum hour because at that time, every flower will bloom. So you can also take the right pointer to be the maximum among all of these values, or you can also take a right value to be 10 to the nine, whatever you want. 
so what you will do you will do the same right or left is equal to 1 right equal to the like something like x then you will take the middle value if you will do an ok function for this middle value well you will take that whether taking this middle value as the time so mid will tell us the minimum time at which i will pluck out k consecutive flowers and form if i take out k consecutive flowers how many bouquet i can form let's assume that i can form small m bouquet and if this small m bouquet is greater than or equal to capital m bouquet which is the number of bouquet i want then this following condition is fine this particular mid is fine then i will take my right pointer equal to equal to mid if this value this mid value is not fine then i will take my left pointer equal to mid plus one this is the standard binary search function i have been using in the couple of videos so you can also check that video out so that's the whole trick for this question find out left equal to one right is the maximum among all the numbers okay this is the condition we will which i have told you in the starting of this video if m into k is greater than the total size of this unit then return out minus one directly else i will do this function in which l is less than r i am using long long because these values are very large and if i multiply m and k directly then it can it will give a like for large values it can get overflow so that's why i converted it mid is the mid of left right divided by 2 then this is the ok function in which i will send the mid bloom day mk if this is fine i will make the right equal to mid else make the left equal to mid plus 1 and it turn out left and then how this ok function is working this will take the input of mid which is the minimum time i am assuming such that i will pluck out k consecutive flowers and make m bouquets in this mid time and this is the bloom day uh, array so this is the sub array sub array means uh, like how many bouquets i can make this is actually bouquet and total and n iterate over from left to right okay so what will i do if a of i is less than equal to mid what I'm actually checking, if the current bloom day value is less than the mid value, then I can take this in total. Total is telling me that whether I can take this flower in my bouquet. So I'm actually moving. I'll tell you how this OK function is working. Let's assume that my uh, this my bloom day is this. Okay. And uh, maybe I can tell that my, like let's assume that my mid value is equal to, or I can make my bloom day uh, vector let's assume it is 1 5 3 10 2 let's do this now uh, what will I do I will make my let's assume that I will make my this value mid value equal to 5 ok or my mid value is 5 then what will I do I will move from left to right I will keep on taking these flowers plucking out these flowers and make a bouquet whenever i found out that this flower is greater than the time of blooming i cannot take this see i have either two conditions i can either like my bouquet size is equal to one so i will take one flower then i'll take that whether i can form a bouquet with this yes so i will take a bouquet out of this but now let's see my bouquet size is equal to two so i will take out this one flower and still i want this is not sufficient to make a bouquet i will add another flower but i will only add this flower if this flower bloom day is less than or equal to the mid which is the bloom day or time i have actually calculated for which i am calculating this mid value this is the mid value i am sending in the okay function so what will i do i will move from left to right tell that okay mid actually defined out the time this is the minimum time for which I will take out or make the bouquets. So this is 5. This means that I am assuming that at time equal to 5, I can make, I am actually like searching at time equal to 5, how many bouquets I can make. So at time equal to 5, I am moving from left to right. And then I will check that, okay, I can pluck out this flower because this flower is actually all like already bloomed. So then I will move from this to this. This flower is also less than equal to 5. So I can also take this flower. This flower is also fine. I can take this flower. This flower is not fine. So I cannot take this flower. This flower is fine. But also while moving from left to right, I will check that whether my bouquet is complete. My bouquet size is 2. So I am moving from left to right. This flower is fine. This flower is fine. But at this point, my bouquet is complete. So I will take this as a bouquet. And if my this is my bouquet, I will make my total equal to 0. Now again, I will take this. My bouquet consisting of one flower. Then I will go to this point. But now I cannot take this flower. 
so now this cannot be a complete bouquet because even though there is one valid bloom flower i cannot take it because i have to take consecutive flowers i have taken this as a one bouquet i cannot take this because this is not bloomed and also i cannot take this so as you can see in this particular configuration my answer is one i can only make one bouquet so that's i hope you get my point how i'm making the bouquets so that's how this function is working i'm moving from left to right i'm checking that whether a of i is less than equal to mid then only i will increment my total else if this is greater than or equal to my mid then which means that i have encountered a flower which has the bloom day greater than my mid then i have two conditions one condition is my total is greater than equal to k if my total is greater than equal to k i will make my sub array which is actually making the number of bouquets i have i will increase plus plus which means that i have encountered i am actually moving from left to right i have encountered a flower which has a bloom day greater than the mid value of talking about so what i will do i will check that number of flowers i have counted till now if the number of flowers counted till now is greater than the bouquet size then i will increase my bouquet size and i will make my total equal zero total means how many flowers i have taken till now because i i have to start afresh because after this point i cannot make a streak i have to make a new streak from this and thus i will make my total total will actually be storing the total number of streak also if at any point my total the total number of flowers i have taken till now becomes greater than equal to k and i will also do the same i will make my sub array or actually number of bouquets plus plus and will again make my total equal zero so i will again make my streak equal zero because i have already make a streak and that's how i am making or calculating how many streaks i can form if my mid is equal to this and my a is equal to this and the given uh, m and k these are this after calculating out all the values i will also check it for the last condition because the last if i am iterating from left to right okay uh, let's assume that all the flowers are completed okay i will always like i can only check this condition if uh, like whenever i feel or whenever i found a flower which is not bloom then only i will get into this condition but if all the flowers are bloomed i will move from left to right and i will take all the flowers and like i will not go go to in any condition so this condition should also be taken care after completing all the for loop will also check like check that the total after all these should be greater than equal to k so i will also increase the total sub array by one again and in the end i will just return out or check that if the total number of sub arrays or total number of bouquets i can make with this particular configuration is greater than or equal to m m means how many bouquets i want then this is a valid answer so i will return out true else this is a invalid answer i will return out false and after doing this okay function for all the possible mid values i will get out or get actually the possible minimum possible mid values at the left point so i hope you get the gist this is the same code i have been using for all the like binary search problems i have been posted on this binary search series so if you haven't check out the latest or the previous videos you can also open my channel and search for the binary search series so you can check those check those videos out so i hope you get or like these explanations if you like these explanation please hit the like button subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye